Hello and welcome to the channel. Here I am, off grid, my TP, rocket stove, smoke free. Yeah, it's been a bit of a buddy journey, I tell you. Getting this far. Got some cheap LED lights going up on my window, on my TP. Raining outside. Dog's pretty comfortable, aren't you, girl? Sniff. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just me and the rocket stove, really. Just got a humming along at the moment, just idling away. No major flame effect on the front, just in chill mode. To get it going a bit more. Have a look up in the hopper up here. You got this little breather tube there. What you can do is give that a wee blow. up the temperature a bit faster yeah so it's pretty crazy outside she is dark too dark and raining nothing to see <laughs> I was going to show you the smoke coming out well, and no smoke coming out the top but you can't see that anyway Yes, yeah, this, this is a seven meter uh, teepee of my own design. Got some uh, mixed media dragon art up on the wall here. Been making over the last oh, decade. Stained glass fins, my pile inlays. Little New Zealand inlay <coughs> there. Yes, yeah, so I just got a. Oh, naughty 50 inch TV there running off a little uh, Bluetti power bank. I've just been charging that up during the day with this 100 watts of solar. And it's been enough to run pretty much everything I've got. Making a cup of tea. I might get her a bit crank and then get back to you in a minute. Yeah, so I just gave her a bit of a stoke and now she's getting a nice split flame effect coming in there. Nice even on both sides. So this one's a uh, new design. Is it the split flame tech? So it's coming from the center, it's hitting the glass, and it's evenly going both ways to the back, then up the chimney, which is of course running clear. The little secondary combustion, um, little um, windows there, working away, it's giving it more oxygen. They're keeping the, the glass clean as well. I found if you have little holes there, then um, you don't get a soot build up. What I can do with this model is um, swap the glass around when it's still running. You can just pop the glass out, turn around. You can also run this on a low mode, just running one chamber this way. And then close it up and it starts running both sides cup of tea is going to be bloody brilliant oh time for some more pellets in there This is the main air chamber right here. This is the new way I'm doing it. Instead of having it all hooked onto the back here, vulnerable to wind and ash falling out, this is a totally safe way. It's just air sucking in and down. Anyway, I'll get a few pellets. One of these pellets. So I'm just running a little tin here. It's about a cup. 
I'm going to do a time test on this one. I think I'm getting around about 15 minutes of burn time per little cup. Yeah, it's nice and toasty in here. So yeah, on the next video I'll show you guys outside in the daytime. It's just been chaos. When I got here, there's like... It was all blackberry and gorse, kind of like six foot high. The whole section needed to be taken care of, then flattened big enough for a spot for a teepee. Absolute mission, off grid. Don't even have water plumbing at the moment. <laughs> it's coming next week, hopefully. This one's got a much bigger main um, chamber where the basket is. Um, the ash build up, it just takes days and days. Like I've had this running for uh, four nights now without cleaning it. It just seems to self clean itself, burns away most of the ash. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't use my welder at the moment, being off grid, and hopefully within the next month. But um, yeah, I mean, summer's coming around quick, eh? So I'm just gonna keep on posting, cooking some stuff, uh, doing some camping trips. Yeah, so uh, just gonna have a cup of tea, really, guys. It's been a massive week moving house. But yeah, I will. Uh, Oh, excuse me. I will get myself sorted in the future. Just got my Wi-Fi on today. <laughs> Had bugger all credit for the last week. Rocket stoves away. Way, way of the future, I reckon. Way of the present for me right now, but... These things are pretty awesome, especially in a teepee situation like this. You just need, you need a stove running. There's no insulation, it's just canvas. Um, I will be getting insulation if I stay in it over winter, but who knows? Who knows what's happening in the future, yo? It looks crazy out there in the world. <laughs>